I'm going to show you how to solve this problem on the state test using the calculator provided and then afterwards I will explain how you can get the answer using the rules that you've learned in Algebra 1. So first let's go to the calculator. Now when you click on the calculator this is what you're going to see. If you scroll down to the bottom left corner you can click to show the keypad. So this question is asking us which of these expressions here on the left are equivalent to 9 to the 5 halves power. So since none of these have a variable, we can just go through and see which ones are equal to whatever 9 to the 5 halves power is. So the first um, button I guess we're going to use on this calculator is our exponent button and it's right here, the A with the B as the exponent. So if I want to put in 9 to the 5 halves power, I'm going to click 9 and then my exponent, and then 5 halves is 5 divided by 2. You just use the division bar as your fraction bar. So we're going to look at each of these choices over here on the left and see which ones are equal to 243. So I'm going to leave that there and click plus to add an expression. And for A, it's just 4 to the fifth power, so 4 exponent 5. And that's not equal to 243, so I'm just going to X that out or backspace it and put in the next one, 3 to the 5th power. And that one is equal to 243, so I know B is one of my answers, so I'm going to leave that there. So let's add another expression, and now I'm going to do a square root. And hopefully you see that square root button, it's right here, so if we click that, we can just do a 9 to the 5th power. And we see that's also equal to 243. Now our next option is a root, but there's a number outside of the root that's called an index. You need to click the functions button here and go over to the miscellaneous tab and there you'll see it. You see it's a root button, but there's an N here where we can put any number outside of our square root or our root button our root symbol. So if we click that, we could put the 5 as our index and then 9 exponent of 2. And that's not equal to 243. And then the next two are just some numbers inside parentheses. So let's add an expression. We're going to do parentheses, 9 to the second power, and parentheses. Notice that that end parentheses stayed up in my exponent. Let's backspace that. After you're done with an exponent, you always need to click next to it, and you'll see that your cursor will go down slightly. So now we're ready to put our parentheses, our end parentheses, and then 9 exponent 1 half. Yep, that's 243. And then I'll enter the last one. And F is not one of the answers. So our answers are B, C, and E. So now let's go back to the original question, and I'm going to go over why the answer is B, C, and E. So first off, if we look at B, um, if we're starting from our original problem here, you need to remember the rule that this can be rewritten. This is the same as 9 to the 1 half power to the fifth power. Because the power rule tells us that we, if you have something with an exponent raised to a power, you multiply them. One half times five is the five halves. Now, nine to the one half is the same as the square root of nine. And the square root of nine is three. So that's how we know the answer is B. Now, if we look at C, you need to remember that if you have a root, a square root, there's no index, there's no number outside, we just assume that it's a 2. And then to change a number from a root to exponential form, you take that base, and then the inside number is our numerator, the outside number is our denominator. So that gives us our original expression. And then the last one you need to remember that when you are multiplying numbers that have the same base, they both have a 9, different exponents, 
what you do is you add the exponents. So this would be nine and the two and a half, two plus a half. And two and a half is the same as you have two and a half, you take two times two is four, plus one is five. So that's the same as nine to the five halves power. And that's why the answer is E.